The next prayer that we want to look at in scripture where we're praying for ourselves, and in this case it's going to be for ourselves and others, is the Lord's Prayer. Because the Lord's Prayer says us. So it's not just for ourselves, it's also for others. But we can still see how we advocate for ourselves in prayer. Amen? So Jesus was telling his disciples on the Sermon on the Mount how to pray. And this was in Matthew 6, 8 through 13. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Now Jesus was talking about the hypocrites. Don't pray like them. He already knows what you have need of. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. So the hypocrites would make a lot of vain repetitions, amen? So Jesus was warning them, don't pray like that. This is how you should pray, amen? So he's teaching them how to pray. And in this model of prayer, we see we're praying for ourselves and also others. Give us, give this, uh, excuse me, give us this day our daily bread, amen? So we're praying for ourselves and others. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation. So Jesus is telling us we need to pray for ourselves. We also need to pray for others, but we don't want to miss praying for ourselves. Praying for a hedge of protection around ourselves. Praying for our daily needs to be met. Praying for God to intervene in our lives. And really dialoguing, right? Because prayer is a discussion with our Heavenly Father. So in any discussion, you pray and then you listen. I think about in a marriage. Could you imagine not talking to your spouse for days and days and days? I know, you know, if I'm traveling or my husband's traveling and sometimes we I get a chance to talk with just for a few minutes, you're missing them. You want to have that conversation, amen? How much more so do we need to talk day to day with our Heavenly Father for extensive time? Because He knows what we have needed before we ask. And he's also a friend. He's a counselor to the Holy Spirit. He's a comforter. He's a guide. He knows all things. He's our friend. Amen. So we want to have this relationship, this intimacy with him. And we need to be talking to him just as the bride would talk to the bridegroom. And could you imagine a marriage where people never talk? It wouldn't be successful or healthy because you need to dialogue. You need to build a relationship and continue to strengthen it by praying together, talking together. Amen. And walking out life together. So it's important that we do that with our Heavenly Father. 